Hello guys and gals, and thanks again for tuning in to another episode right here on Hook, Line, and Singer. I am Bob Sellers, your resident singing fisherman, and today I am a tournament chairman. Yep, yep, got some, uh, got some, yep, and, a, and the official score. Oh, we forgot scales, so that means I'll have to estimate them. That's okay, that's okay. All right, who have I got? Who have I got in the truck here? Introduce yourselves. I got Spencer and I got Cole. Who are you? I know who I am. All I know, Will. That's 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 Will the Thrill, or depending on what day it is, Will the Peel. Uh, Will Dance. Willie Earl. Will Otis. Will the Bass Master. Right. Yep. Don't like that. All right, in the back, who we got here? Spencer Shirley. Spencer Shirley. This is his debut on an episode here. So welcome, welcome Spencer. Although it's not his debut around the house. I've, yeah, I fed him lots of burgers and all kind of stuff. He's, he's in Will's class and he's got a hollow leg just like Will. These boys eat all the time. Wait, we found one more. Who else we got? Cole Quimby. This is his hook, line, and singer debut as well. They're all in the same grade. I went to school with all their parents. Cole's dad, Chad, was a year over us, and uh, his mom, Rhonda, graduated, finished high school with Kansas and me, and then uh, Spencer's dad, Darby. Darby is in my brother-in-law, Jeff's class, I think. Yeah, a few years older than me, and then your mom, Brandy, she was uh, one or two years old. One. one year over? Okay, okay, cool. So we were all at, right about there in the same age, and now here these boys are in the same age. We're going to have us a little tournament today. We're going to do some bank fishing for bass, and uh, we never caught anything big in here. This is over at uh, my wife's aunts and uncles, Aunt Jane and Uncle Buddy. And, uh, they're gracious enough to let Will and whoever come over anytime he wants. So uh, we're just gonna have some fun, go goof off, see what we can get into. Hey, y'all come with us and see what happens. Son, I think I won six. All right, we got, we got two men on the board. Two men on the board. Will. Well, you're fooling around with that, and I'm fooling around with this camera. We're getting beat, son. Mm -hmm. We got Cole in the lead right here. I'm gonna go this way. on the board. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. 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 The cameraman is getting skunked so far. Cole in the lead. Yeah. 
old man is on the board. On the board. Spencer breaks the tie and takes the lead with bass number three. Here at the Ammons Invitational Open. Uh oh. Wheel Dance takes the lead. Yes. Spencer tied for first. Will with the big fish tiebreaker. And Cole's got three. I'm still on one, folks. But I've got the biggest fish. Yeah. Oh, it's on it's on video, buddy. Let me see. Cole just took the lead with five fish. Cole with six. Cole with six. Widens his margin in the lead. Cole extends his lead. Now he's up to seven. Cole with eight. He's got eight. Spencer's got one on. Spencer just broke the tie for second place. Moves into second place with five fish. That might be another round, man. <laughs> We're gonna need another one. I'd borrow one from Cole. Dude, I got eight. I'd go from two to eight. Mainly a point. Hey, we got one. Old man found one. Come on. He's scared of it. He's backing up. This segment of Hook, Line, and Singer. Brought to you by Jerry Yamamoto, proud sponsors of Cole Quimby Fishing. I've never been able to catch a fish I can see. I guess that means they can see you too. I think they have better eyesight than folks give them credit for. Huh. That got my worm. Got my worm, rascal. Got him. You got that little one. <laughs> Cole, team Cole with eight. Well, I caught that fish we seen over here. No, is that eight or nine? Oh, shoot, there's another one. That's nine, right? I'm losing count of the man's fish. 
catching so many we can't keep camp. He just broke the double digit mark and has tied with me for fish of the day. My first one was about that size. Boys, we're getting smoked out here. Oh, her spot fishing, these fish sitting there. That, I said it right in front of him, he went in there and sucked it up. Yeah, there. Uh, let me let me weigh in. I call it a tie. The tail flip. Here it is. Sure is a nice day. Pretty good day for Billy Big Mouth, too. Holes up to 10. Spencer, you got five. Wheel of four. Two. Looks like it's snowing. Something coming out of that willow tree. Got him. Hey buddy, come back to see me, didn't you? That must be a big old cat. Oh, son, I threw it the top of that tree way over there. Hey, Uncle Bud. Good, how about you? These boys are wearing me out. Hey, that's pretty good. He's got 11 now. Cole's gonna have to go on lunch break. Give the rest of us a chance. Catch up. Cole, won't you go ice your arm down? I'm gonna eat some for y'all catch up. And talking trash now. Said he could go eat and we still wouldn't catch up. I think he's right. Say hey to YouTube. Hey YouTube. <laughs> Today's fishing trip made possible by Uncle Bud. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. Watch Yank. Yank, he's a little bit perturbed. It's just <laughs> Come on. You wouldn't get that cricket off his kick. <laughs> he ought to be ashamed of his <laughs> I wish, I wish I could send in that whole video to America's Funniest Home Videos. I'd win it. But I'd, I'd have to get me a new wife. I don't want to do that. <laughs> when we all called up here, I wish I'd have thought and told him, was your mama going to catch you a bunch of crickets? <laughs> <laughs> she saw that well cricket going across the floor or whatever. Or she didn't know what it was, but she saw it. And she went stomping. And when she did, it just run straight, straight up her <laughs> breeches leg. She come out of pants and underwear. 
and I mean was she screaming. Was off of her, was she? she was screaming bloody murder. Yeah. That fish just tried to get that bird. You see that? Fish tried to get that red bird. Oh, Cole let me go. He ain't going inside. I was gonna go in there and tell them I, they won't believe it, but I hit a nest of them. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't top him. I was up to twelve. <laughs> He's got a good one. Is that twelve or thirteen? Twelve. Cole with twelve. A little bass. There he is. Got one. What have you got there, bud? A little bluegill. <laughs> That's a little one. Just a little one. Oh, he's pretty. You can lip a lip a bluegill like that. It's a it's a good one. Oh, that's so pretty. I like that. Looks like this one more than somebody wants this real they can have it. And you're catching them on red weenies. Yep. These are pet fish, y'all. They meat eater fish. <laughs> meat eater. Yeah, they're big enough to be meat eaters. Hello. Pretty little bass. Little bass fish. You got one on? Oh my gosh. It's a monster gill. It's a good one. Well, Cole, how does it feel to be how does it feel to be champion of the first annual Ammons Classic tournament here? Feels good. You wanna thank all your sponsors? Yeah. Gary Yamamoto. Gary Yamamoto. What have you got on? Don't let him pop you. I got a nail up here. Too. <laughs> he got angry. Doing what he wants to do, ain't he? <laughs> pretty good, ain't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, Parker, that's a leader man right there. <laughs> You're having a time with him, man. That's a nice one. Woo, that's some be some that would be some good eating right there. That was fun, wasn't it? Mm -hmm.
fat blue cat full of full of feed <laughs> hey, you got him? Actually, I'll look this way. <laughs> That's good. Awesome. Well, it was a good day. We had fun out here. Uh, we'd like to congratulate Mr. Cole Quimby, uh, champion of the inaugural Ammons uh, Classic. Appreciate y'all uh, tuning in here. And uh, hey, I appreciate these, I started to say boys, now young men, letting the old man tag along with them. And uh, it's good to me to see young folks that want to be out in the woods, on the water, and doing something besides out gallivanting in the streets or even playing a video game 24 hours a day, like too many of them do now. But uh, these are good, good kids, and uh, we had fun today. Uh oh, we didn't, uh, we didn't run over the standings here. Okay. All right, Cole ran away with it. All right, that's. That's plain as day. He caught 12 bass. We have got some skeeters in here. 12 bass, right? And he caught a catfish about the oh, size of his leg or so. Yeah, it's big enough. But, uh, so that's 13. And, and one really golly whopper of a fish, a catfish. And we did not specify species. We just said number of fish and big fish. So. <laughs> well, he definitely gets big fish. I'm going to stick to my claim of big bass. I caught a nice one over there. The first one I caught. <laughs> so we got 12, uh, 12 bass. And a big blue cat from Cole. Spencer, what's your tally, bud? Five bass and one blue. Five bass and one bluegill. So that's six. What you got, Will? Five bass. Five bass. I never really took any of them home. And I got six bass. Six bass. That bass. means. Uh, wait, what does what does Cole win? As the champion, what's what's his prize? We never did, we never did decide that either, did we? I guess they got one with an <laughs> 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 Well, I'll let them do find out. Get a pat on the back. Uh, all right. Maybe it's just, uh, maybe it's just bragging rights. Maybe that's enough. Huh? There you go, there you go. In Romans chapter 1, verse 16 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Uh, I say this a lot in my on this channel, but today is a day, I think, as much as ever, if not more so, that we need to be bold in our in our stand, bold in our faith, bold in our belief and our trust in Jesus Christ, uh, because the world around us is quickly becoming more and more wicked. There's some little fellas, <laughs> but uh, we just got to keep keep hanging on, and just put our trust in Jesus Christ, and one day. One day we're going to leave this world for a better one. Remember that. No matter what you're facing today or whatever you may face tomorrow, just uh, put your trust in God. Hold His unchanging hand. 
He'll never leave us. He'll never forsake us. Don't ever be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Right, fellas? Hey, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and like the videos, and then if you'll click the bell, you'll receive a notification when I post something new. Hey, thanks so much for tagging along with us today. Until next time, remember, God loves you. So do I. Bye.